Hey my beauties, it's Chrissy Marie here and I am back with another video. I know it's been a while, a while, a while, but yeah, I was getting things situated. Uh, as you all know, I was pregnant, but I had my baby boy, so now I am back to my old self. I just wanted to get things situated. I was going through like an emotional crisis right before I had him, like a few weeks before I had him, so I was like off of social media for a while, but I am back and better than ever. Today I am bringing you this look out of the Rivera palette from Anastasia. You know, although, you know, I was I was out emotionally, you know, and mentally disconnected, I still made sure that I ordered the palette just so I could do it. So I'm kind of late, but better late than never. But yeah, let's jump right into the video. We're gonna start with the purple shade can right here. And we're gonna put that in our transition. I did already prep my eye, so I didn't set it because I wanted the color to pop. So I'm just gonna put that in my transition, uh, where I would usually put my transition shade and blend that out. What do I feel like I got in my eye? I'm so sorry I've been like gone and out of the way. Um, as you all know, I was pregnant. Yeah, I was pregnant. I had my son a couple of weeks early, which I was totally excited about because honestly, I was super tired of being pregnant. <laughs> um, so I kind of like forced him out. And then we're going to take Monte Carlo, which is this pink shade right here, this light pink one. This one. But yeah, so, um, and we're going to put that above our transition shade and just buff it out. Really good. And I'm taking a Morphe M513 brush. But yeah, I had my son a couple weeks early. So he's a week old in two days today. Um, we've just been enjoying the time, honestly, with him and my older two children. Love them some of their brother. They are so sweet. It's crazy how children are. Like my youngest one, if you ever met, uh, or my middle child now. Uh, his name is Issa. He is the one, like, he's not friendly at all. Like, he's more like stranger danger child. And I'm going to take can again, and I'm going to uh, place that. We're doing a halo eye, as you can see on this eye. I'm going to place that on my outer and inner E, but not too much towards the inner corner. Uh, but, yeah, he's more of the stranger danger type he doesn't like people he doesn't like new like he doesn't like new stuff he's not equipped for like new people new schools new friends <laughs> no new friends for him and um yeah but i was kind of confused or not confused but kind of like afraid of how he was going to react to his brother because of the fact he's such a spoiled little boy and he's like mommy's baby honestly and uh, yeah surprisingly he loves his baby like and i'm so thankful for that like the love that uh i show them and their dad show them which if you have been following me for a while on my social media you know that their dad is there is a guy who stepped up and became, you know, their father. So if I ever talk about their dad, that's who I'm talking about. The man who's actually fathering them. But yeah, he's like, what was I getting at? I don't even remember, but he, oh, that's what I was saying. Like the love that we show them and the love that they see that we give each other, it like reciprocates and it shows when it comes to their baby brother like they're so sweet with him it's so ridiculous it's the cutest thing ever and especially my oldest one this was to be expected with my oldest one because he is a loving like he's a loving person like you know 
all he needs is love. And I'm going to take a uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color white, and I'm going to just cut out our halo. That's the baby. But, okay. But yeah, so it really, it really shows the love that they have or the love that they see and the love that uh, we have been showing them. It really shows when it comes to their baby brother. And I'm just so thankful at this point for my children. I'm so thankful for my, uh, my babes. He's an, an amazing father to all of our children. And that's not something you see quite often, especially with my wife. So I'm just really thankful for that. I don't know if I was gonna say focus or not, but yeah, so. I don't know. So I've just been enjoying life. I am not, one thing I am not looking forward to though, is going back to work. I am not looking forward to that. I at least would like to wait like until my baby is like six months before I'm back to work. But unfortunately I can't, so I have to get back to work after my maternity leave is up and I'm gonna take a few extra weeks. But yeah, okay. yeah, I'm gonna take a few extra weeks uh, just to probably prepare myself to leave him. I'm gonna take the color Seychelles, which is this color right here. And I'm going to put that on top of our white. That's what I'm not looking forward to, leaving my baby boy. With my other two, I had the luxury of staying home with them. Um, at least with my oldest one, I definitely stayed home with him until he was like two, almost two. Yeah, he was almost two when I moved back home and got a job and you know started living life as a single mom prior to me and my babes, but, or not me to my babes, because I already knew him, but prior to getting in a relationship with him. So, um, yeah. And then with my youngest one, with Issa, he was like six months when I moved back home. So that's when he started going to daycare. So this is going to be my first time actually putting my newborn in daycare. Thankfully, I've been with this daycare for quite a while now, so I do trust them. But yeah, I'm kind of like nervous. I have never done that before this soon. So I'm just taking our uh, cane color, which is the purple one, and I'm blending out everything. What's wrong? But yeah, I'm kind of like nervous about that. Send some good energy, positive energy my way in regards to that because oh, I'm going to be in tears. I already know. Then I'm going to want to leave work early that day and the rest of the week. But we shall see how it goes. All uh, right, so that's all for the upper eye. I'm gonna just blend out the shadows really good. And then I'm going to do my face and hop back on camera. All right, so after I finish the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this NYX uh, Pro Liner by uh, NYX Cosmetics. This is a blue, yeah, rainstorm color, and I'm gonna put this on the bottom part of my eye. I'm gonna take Palermo, which is this 
which is this shade right here. And I'm going to use that as my inner highlight. Oh, that's cute. But yeah, as I was stating before, we're just getting, you know, used to having three kids in a house and, you know, being parents of a newborn. It's going to be my inner highlight. And then I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm going to take the pink Monte Carlo cutter, color and put this just smudge it on the bottom water line, under the water line. One thing I am happy about, I'm happy about getting back to my old ways, like cleaning, cause, um, Thankfully, thankfully, my boyfriend did all the cleaning and, you know, he did everything for the last nine months because I just didn't have the energy. I'm going to take Can again, the purple color, and smudge out the bottom line. But yeah, he did everything for the last nine months. So, like, when I finally got home, I was able to, like, you know, just, like, help him out, which is always good. Because he's like, when I say everything, I literally mean everything. From cleaning to washing, folding, like everything for the last five months. So it was nice to help him out and do things that I normally would do. Now that I'm not always tired or pregnant. So I'm happy about that. Plus, uh, Although he tries his best, I just hate it the way that he folded clothes. So yeah, I'm definitely glad that I am back. But I'm taking the purple shade again and just taking that smudge brush and smudging it. I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but. All right guys, so after doing that and putting on some mascara on the bottom lashes this look is super cute i'm going to take my anastasia collab with Rizzi and i'm going to use this as my highlight today I'm just taking my bronzer brush and blending that highlight in just a little more. And I'm going to take the same color and just a dab of it. That's the bottom of my brow. Just like that. All right, for lips today, we're going to take Max Boldly Bare, which is like a new shade, and I'm going to put that. I actually think I want a new uh, a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna go find one. Yeah, I'm gonna go find a liquid lipstick. Be right back. All right, so we're taking the Fenty. What color is this? Uncuffed. I already put it on my lips a little bit, but we're gonna take this color. So 
So this is the finished look. Let me know if you guys like my hair like this. I'm actually trying to grow my hair out. Uh, I'm in between the stage like uh, trying to like forget about it so I don't end up cutting it or dyeing it because I don't want to dye it uh, until August. So yeah, pray for me. But I don't even want to touch up the roots or anything. Like I just want to get my ends clipped and just leave it at that. This is my natural curl right here. I didn't use a diffuser today, but I did use some products. If you want to know those products, just let me know and I'll share that video with you all of how I uh, do my curls or get my curls to look this way. But yeah, so here's the finished look. I think, I, I really like it. I, I mean, it's cute to me. Uh, I don't know where I will wear it to, but it's definitely fire. Uh, Ugh, I got stuff all over my teeth. All right, so yeah, um, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe, come on now. You have been here, you are here already. You might as well hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button on the side just so you never miss an upload. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.